guys, my name is Shane and today I am doing my October favorites. I know it's been a couple of months since I did my last favorites, but this month I have a ton of stuff to show you. I already, I already, my Christmas tree. Yes, I did. <laughs> today for me is like November 7th or something and I decorated, I think we put up our tree maybe November 3rd. I don't know, I just feel like I kind of had missed out on fall a little bit this year so when November rolled around, once Halloween was out of the way, I was so ready to just start decorating for Christmas. I'm actually going to go outside after this video and put up more Christmas lights. But first, I need to show you what products I've been loving for the month of October. Truthfully, I feel a little bit rusty. <laughs> I haven't filmed a video like this in quite a while. So so I'm sorry if I stutter or my throat is a little bit dry. I'm also kind of getting a little bit sick. So with all those apologies out of the way, uh, I have a ton of stuff, uh, mostly beauty. And I'm going to start with the beauty stuff as I, I normally do. I feel like um, favorites are typically uh, revolved around beauty products. So if that's what you're coming for, I want to make sure I show you those right away. So let's get started. Well first I guess I'll show you what is on my head. So recently I picked up uh, some Bellamy extensions. This was my first ever set of Bellamy's. I have never gotten them before. I actually used to buy my extensions from Sally's Beauty Supply. The only problem with that is they weren't terrific quality. Um, I think the ones that I used to buy, which were only 18 inches, you couldn't go any longer than that. They just simply didn't carry any longer sizes. Um, I think the 18 inches were maybe 125 or so so those are the ones that I always use to get to or grab but they don't really tend to last very long I mean it kind of depends on how well you take care of them of course but every six months or so I would look at my extensions and consider getting a new set because they would just get dingy and just look gross after a while <laughs> just like your hair would if you don't take care of it so it was so it was and so I just decided to bite the bullet and get the Bellamy so mine were 24 inch I think I got the Magnifica or something like that um, so they come all the way down like to the top of my butt they're so they're so long um, I think there are 240 I'm trying to see if this has any information on it so you guys know exactly what I got. I know I got it in the color chocolate, I believe. I know it had the word chocolate in it. Uh, Magnifica, Magnifica, 240 gram, 24 inches chocolate brown. Those are the ones that I got. Uh, so it came... Actually, it usually doesn't, but it actually came with a pony as well. So it came with 10 tracks of hair, um, including a tester piece right here, right in the packaging that you can open, hold it up to your hair, make sure it's a good fit before you open the packaging because I believe once this is open, you cannot return it. Um, the, the color had matched my hair, so I kept this in here just in case I ever needed a little bit of extra hair. Um, but it did come in a pack like this. And then just because of the time that I was ordering, if you were ordering a full set of extensions, you also got a free pony, which they typically go for $50. So it's kind of cool that I got for free. Um, it has been worn once, so it's a little bit, it could use some TLC. I could definitely comb this out right now, but I'll save that for after the video uh, but it's a really 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 simple application you simply have um, one long track back here um, with one little clip I don't know what is going on right here I'm not sure what's going on right there <laughs> I'm gonna brush it out I don't want to ruin this um, it does come with one little clip on the inside of this track um, but then it just wraps around and would velcro um, around your pony so that was pretty cool that I got it because sometimes I do wear my hair up and that just makes it really easy to put your hair up with your extensions okay so okay so we started talking about my hair I'm just gonna keep going with hair I have a lot of hair stuff this month so the first so the first this hairbrush which this is I kept the packaging in case you wanted to find it yourself um, I got mine at Walmart I think it was 14 something so $15 um, we don't have sale tax so it probably would have been $15 with sale tax um, but this is from Michael Mercier it is an as seen on TV um, product it's a detangling hairbrush 
So this one was specifically for thick hair. Uh, you can use it on wet or dry hair. The secret, the secret brush lies in the unique geometric distribution of its 428 bristles on varying heights which disperse the pressure placed along the hair during brushing. Now, I I a couple of times and I don't typically like to put um, products into my favorites um, unless I had been using the product for a good couple of months so I got a good honest and fair opinion about the product but after using this once I was like oh my gosh like I have to I, I've used it more than once but like after the first time I was like this thing is absolutely amazing now with my new extensions I really didn't want to use my paddle brush that I have because that thing rips your hair out like I barely use it on my um, my natural hair because I'm trying to grow it out and every time I use it it's like clumps and clumps and clumps of hair I'm always taking out of the bristles so I'm like I have to do something I just paid so much money for these extensions I worked so hard saving up for them I don't want to just destroy them because of a crappy brush so that's why I decided to invest in this um, I think this is a knockoff I think there was like an original detangling brush that like everybody on YouTube was flipping out about uh, probably a couple years or so I don't remember the brand I don't remember the name of it I do think it was a pink brush so I'm not sure if it was this one exactly um, but even if this is a dupe it is absolutely amazing and I'm in love how long can I talk about a hairbrush <laughs> I think I'm gonna show you stuff that I use in the shower, um, including hair care, but there's also a couple that aren't hair care. I'm trying to keep everything as organized as I possibly can. <laughs> this may be, this may be, that was not a hair care product in my shower category. Um, I know I've talked about this before. I know, I know it was featured on one video. Was it just a haul? Because I don't think I ever reviewed this product. Um, but this is the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Fat Fresh and Foamy Body Wash. Now, I had never, ever, ever used Soap and Glory products before this one. Um, I didn't really know how to get to it besides ordering it online. And I'm not a huge fan of ordering stuff online. One, because I'm impatient. <laughs> and two, I really, really, really like to see products and like know exactly what I'm buying. So if I buy something online, most likely I just can't get my hands on it in person. Uh, but the Soap and Glory, I actually found out that my Ulta carries it very, very, very small section. Like in no way, shape, or form does it carry all the products that Soap and Glory offers. But it did carry this body wash. And at the time, I picked up two of these because it was buy one, get one something percent off. Uh, I hadn't used these products but I'm so glad that I did pick up two because I ended up loving it. Now the product itself is, you know, it's a body wash um, but it does have lime oil, cool capsule, <laughs> kiwi water juice, and a skin softening omega rich vegetable oil. I just think this scent is so fresh and girly and if a product is going on my body it's most likely gonna be smelling good and this smells absolutely amazing if you guys have any recommendations for more so if you heard that that was just a little automatic air freshener um, if you guys have any recommendations for other soap and glory products to give a try please let me know because I would really really love to try them moving moving oh gosh okay I kind of went a little out of order we're just gonna go with it okay uh, <laughs> the next two products I'm gonna show you kind of go hand in hand they are partners uh, but this right here this right here thing and coconut oil weightless hydrating oil mist and then the other one is a nurturing and coconut milk anti-breakage serum. Now, I had picked up these two products. I picked up the uh, hydrating oil mist first because I have naturally very, very dry hair. Like, I can condition it all I want, but what ends up happening is if I over condition it, my hair ends up going really limp and I really like to tease my hair. I back comb it almost every single day. Um, I just like big fluffy hair, so that was not working out for me. Um, so I actually, I think I was watching one of Trisha Paytas' videos and it had nothing to do, I don't think it was even a favorites video. She was just talking about her hair and how, um, about her hairstylist Angel um, just kept using Using oil on her hair. Her hair was very dry, it kept breaking. He just kept applying oil, so that is why I picked up an oil. 
And honestly, I've been noticing a difference. I feel like my hair has been shinier, has been healthier, um, just kind of has a little bit more life to it. You know how when you have like really dry hair, how it just kind of dulls it out? Um, I feel like this is just bringing back a little bit of life and a little bit of bounce. Um, now it's partner I picked up which was the anti-breakage serum because I, I actually heard that you can apply a serum before you shampoo your hair and it's going to protect it from the damage of shampoo. Now in just a minute, now in just a minute, shampoo that I've been using, but you really don't want to find a shampoo that lathers. That's actually really bad for your hair if your shampoo lathers up. It's just very, very drying. So recently I've switched over to a natural brand, um, but I always apply this right before I shower. Now, I'm really glad that didn't break because that was glass. Now we will talk. Now we will talk. I've been using. So I've only used this a couple times, but this is from the brand Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture. Skin Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Shampoo. Uh, it's with shea butter, peppermint, and keratin. Restore and renew a natural. Uh, natural, chemically processed, color treated, or heat styled hair. My biggest thing was the heat styling. I would have never used a heat styling product back in high school, even through college. I never used it. It was just one of those steps that I hated doing, but truthfully, you really, really, really should. Because now I'm struggling. Now my hair is dry and damaged and breaking off, and I've been trying to grow it, and it's just making it that much harder to grow it because my hair isn't strong. You need strong hair to grow it. Uh, so that's it. Uh, so that's it. Just in case you're curious, it does have no sulfates, no uh, pilates, no parabens, no uh, propylene, glycol, no mineral oil, no animal testing, and no pe pe petrolatum. It is sulfate free and it's color safe in case you're looking for a good shampoo that doesn't have any of that crap. So this was pretty cool. This brand actually has a little backstory on the back of the bottle that I'm not going to take the time to read to you guys in case nobody really cares, but it does have a really cute backstory about this product and I always write, really like to support um, you know, small brands, people that had kind of made a name for themselves, and it's a terrific product. I'm actually going to show you another product from this brand in just a second. So the next product, so the next product um, again is from Shea Moisture, but this is the Raw Shea Butter uh, Deep Treatment Mask. I'm like, I'm like breath, I had to run upstairs. <laughs> so this mask um, has sea kelp and argan oil. Um, once again, it's from damaged or transitioning hair. Sulfate, sulfate free and color safe as well. No sulfates, no sulfates, no falafel. <laughs> no propylene, glycol, no mineral oil, no animal testing. Same deal as on our shampoo. So I was really, really, really looking for um, a hair treatment. I had used several and I actually can probably talk about this one as well because we're kind of going on the topic of hair treatments. Um, this one right here is the renewing is the renewing of Morocco. It's an intense moisturizing treatment. Um, it's, it, it's also kind of like a mask though. So like you twist it off like you normally would like a jar. Um, it is a little bit of a thicker uh, formula just like this one is. Now the difference between the two and they both have earned a spot in my favorites is because this one I probably only use, I, I use it more often than I use this one. I probably use this maybe three times between these products or how I use them differently. This one I use almost every time I condition. Now, first of all, I only wash my hair maybe once a week. Um, washing your hair all the time is really, really unhealthy for it, really, really damaging, and if you don't really need it, you don't really need it. <laughs> luckily, because luckily because it's really dry, I don't get super oily, so I can go quite a bit without actually having to um, wash my hair. It's after product buildup or a lot of styling, or um, you know, I just feel that it's time to wash my hair. Um, then I would go in and I would use this woo, along with this. <laughs> so if you guys want like a full shower routine, I'll definitely film a whole another video for you guys. But I feel like this video is going to be long enough that I'm not going to go too much into detail. But basically, I take this extra strength hydrate 
Hydrate and Repair Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner. Use it, use it, conditioner. Once, once it's sitting in my hair, I always have my uh, conditioner sit in my hair for three to five minutes. I'll also apply just a little bit of this because I already have conditioner in my hair. I don't want to over, over condition and my, make my hair really flat and limp. So I'll just add a tiny bit of this to um, strengthen my condition, my conditioner basically. Um, if I really, really, really could use that moisturizer, then this mask you actually use like after your shower. Um, you do want to rinse it out again. So I would shower, I would go through my normal routine, I'd wash my hair out, I'd come out of the shower, I would uh, towel dry my hair, then I would split my hair into two and add this product on either half of my hair, let it sit on my hair for 20 to 30 minutes, up to an hour, then I go ahead and hop in the shower once again and rinse this out. But the second time, I use cool water instead of warm water. I have used this thing maybe three, four times now, and you guys, this makes your hair feel amazing. Now, like, First impressions of products are obviously very, very important. And if I don't like a product right away, I'm not gonna like a product right away. So that's why this made it because it was it was instant. I could see the results instantly and I'm still using it. I believe that actually may have been it for hair care. So now we're gonna move on to skincare. All right, all right. Here now, I know I have talked about coconut oil so much on my channel, like a little bit too much, but it's never been featured in my favorites. At least for the past couple of years, it has not made its way into my favorites. I don't know why. I use this thing literally every single day. Um, I also wanted to film a video with five ways that I use coconut oil, um, but the most common ones is a right after the shower skin moisturizer and a makeup remover. It's amazing, but I couldn't go another month without including this one. Um, the one that I'm using is from Luana Coconut Oil. It doesn't really matter the brand, you just really want to get organic, uh, pure coconut oil. I've kind of been crazy with face masks recently. Uh, I really, I'm not really sure why. I had the, or I still have the uh, coffee cup of coffee uh, exfoliating face mask from Lush, which I try to use not as often as I use these ones. That one is like a really exfoliating, really, really wake up my skin face mask and I've included it in the favorites before so I don't need to again. Uh, so I've been picking, uh, so I've been picking single use, single use and the ones that I've been going towards is the say yes to whatever. Um, not like these two in particular are my favorite, but these two are the examples I have. So I have Say Yes to Tomatoes, which is an acne fighting uh, mask. I picked up a couple of these because I had been breaking out recently and I couldn't figure out why. I didn't know if it was a new product. I didn't know, know if it was a new routine, what I was eating, hormones. I didn't really know why, but I did want to try out these. Uh, and then this one that I have used, the little top is ripped off, is the Say Yes to Tomatoes clear skin detoxifying charcoal paper mask. I'm obsessed with anything charcoal uh, from my face. I do struggle with blackheads really bad, so charcoal is definitely my friend. Speaking of face, speaking of face, this one from L'Oreal. This is the Pure Clay um, mask, uh, mask, uh, pure, is that not English? <laughs> um, so once so this so to apply an even layer to clear dry skin, avoiding eyes and lip area, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, then remove with water for best results, use three times a week. So I know L'Oreal carries at least three of these clay masks. There's uh, the black one, there's a green one, and then there's like a burnt orange one. Uh, this one is for detoxifying and brightening your skin. Indulgent, transformative, perfectly clean, L'Oreal Paris Skin Experts have created a supercharged pure clay mask with the power and benefit of charcoal to detoxify and illuminate your skin in just 10 minutes. I freaking love this clay mask and I actually want to do a little bit more research into it because when I apply this on my skin, it starts drying. Like it would dry like a normal, um, you know, face mask that you apply over your skin. It gets really, really hard, really, really tight. 
Um, but what I noticed, and I wish I kind of filmed a clip of this, um, is that you can actually see the clay mask almost sink into your pores and like you can see the pores, you can see the imperfections, you can see the mask that's actually penetrating these pores and to me that's massively important. Um, again with the whole charcoal thing, I'm a little bit obsessed with it but I am I'm very excited to continue use on this product and to see more results. Next serums to show you. The first one is from e.l.f. so it's a very, very, very affordable product. This is the hydrating serum. The hydrating serum. My hair being dry, my skin is also very dry. Uh, but this helps lock in moisture to reduce the look of fine lines for glowing, healthy looking skin. Um, I've been kind of freaking out a little bit because I've been getting fine lines right under my right eye especially. And I've always had wrinkles on my forehead um, from worrying so much as a kid. I deal with a lot of anxiety so I always 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 had my forehead scrunched and lo and behold I got fine lines for it <laughs> but serums are really really good for your skin regardless of the reason so normally what I would do is wash my face then tone my face then I would use a serum let it dry completely uh, and then I would be going into my next product which is the sudden change three minute under eye firming serum again with my concern about the fine lines under my eyes uh, this one was a little more expensive. I think this one was eight or nine dollars, whereas this one was maybe four or five. Don't quote me on that, but that's roughly the price range. Uh, but then I go and take this. This one is just a nice little dropper. Um, you know, I sque squeeze a little bit of product, put two drops on my fingertips uh, for either, uh, either eye and place it right underneath my eyes, going from the inner tear duct all the way to my outside corner. Let that dry completely. They really, really recommend not really trying to move your face until this is totally dry in three minutes. So I've been using both of these. All right, I think that was, all right, I think that was here. We have a few more beauty products and then we're gonna get into our miscellaneous products and then we'll be wrapping up the video. So continue. So continue. I guess I'll still use like the skin type of stuff. Um, really is just makeup first. First thing is, First thing is lip liner, and now you guys know I've been obsessed with Palladio's uh, cream lip liner in raspberry and nearly nude, my two favorite colors. The only downfall about those lip liners is they didn't really last that long. Um, they were very, very cheap. They were maybe five something each, but if you have to buy them every two weeks or so, it kind of got a little expensive, so I had to think of an alternative. And I saw this and I'm so excited. This is also from Palladio, so I'm still using the same brand. But instead of their cream lip liners, I switched over to a pencil lip liner. I've never been a fan of pencil lip liners because I found them to be a little bit hard. But this formula is definitely very, very creamy, very glidable, but just not as much as their cream products. But the best part is, it's only $2, so I get to buy, you know, almost half of the price of my lip liner. I get one of these. Um, this one I got in the color Cafe, which I'm actually using this on my lips with a couple of my NYX lingerie lipsticks. Um, it's just like a really nice, subtle, burnt red. Now I had to include these in my favorites, which you guys have probably seen them so much. Uh, but I have been using two particular colors all fall, so I had to single these two out. Uh, the, so these are the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks. One is in the color Teddy, and then the other one is in the color uh, Corset. Really just, really just lighter shades and the brown shades of this lingerie line. I've been rocking this fall. I swatched two for you just so you kind of get an idea of, uh, you know, of what they would look like on fair skin. But I've talked. But I've talked, so it's, I'm not gonna go too much into it. Just know I've been loving the really light ones and the really brown ones. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm tied today. I'm sorry. I can feel my throat getting really dry, and I'm getting really sick. So. Next favorite is a perfume, which I haven't featured a perfume in my favorites in a very long time. I don't typically buy new ones, uh, but I did finally get around to buying the Pink Friday Nicki Minaj uh, perfume. I know this one is so old at this point, but I love it. Super florally, super girly, um, not overpowering. It's definitely a step up from a body mist in fragrance. It's a little stronger than a body mist, but it's not 
Chanel where it's like you walk into the room and you can smell you. It's more so if I hug you, you can smell me. Next I have new next I have new two nail polishes, which are actually both from Forever 21. They were having a buy one, get one free sale on their nail polishes, on their nail polishes. Uh, this almost like nudie shimmering color called maple. Um, I actually painted my daughter's nails <laughs> last night and I ended up using this color um, just because it was a nude and that she wouldn't be so like prone to pick it off she's two uh, but I did also use these on my toes last night it's just a beautiful natural color um, and then the other one was a base and a top coat um, I actually didn't use it as a base coat which I probably should have but I did use it as a top coat and it worked out nice ah, okay one more beauty product I think we're going right into miscellaneous um, so I have been absolutely loving the brand kiss uh, for their glue on nails. I love nails. I hate going to salons to get them done. I think it's overpriced. I don't have the time for it and I never get what I actually want because of a language barrier, but I have found an alternative and that is these press-ons. Now keep in mind, you could probably only get them to last maybe a week with the glue that they uh, supply. I use super glue, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably not the best for my nails at all, but my nails are still fine, they're still growing, they still look healthy. I don't think I did any permanent damage with super glue on my nails. If that is not your thing, I would just carry around you know, a little nail glue with you. But I've been loving these. Um, now, the style right here, um, I had already used. So these are just kind of extras in case I ever get the style again. Um, but they're very, very easy to apply. They all come with a little glue, so you don't have to buy it separately. I put some on the back of the inside of the nail, and then I put some also on my nail, and then I glue the nail down. Um, these ones were just like little sparkly black ones, and then they came with gray ones. And then they had these like black and white pattern ones. Uh, they were the closest ones that I could find that were Halloween themed because I wore these a couple weeks ago. Um, but I've just been absolutely loving these. And I've been trying different brands of press on nails. So far the Impress ones are actually really good too. Um, but I think the Kiss ones may be a little bit cheaper. Uh, not a terrible selection. Maybe I can find more online. Uh, but they do have a pretty nice selection in store if you want to go try some out yourself. Alright, enough with beauty, let's move on to our couple of mis miscellaneous products. So the first one, I actually mentioned these in a vlog and I said that they would be on my favorites and I didn't lie. These are the Sugar Free Hawaiian Punch Single To Go uh, little packets. Now I had been having a really, really hard time getting my daughter to drink water. If I would give her water, she'd maybe take a sip or two and then that'd be it. That'd be totally it. Um, but what I'll usually do now is fill up a whole thing of water for her and put maybe half a pack of this into the water. Water. And I mean, it's juice, but at least I know there is a ton of water in what she's drinking. Um, and these are sugar free. Um, you know, comparing these to normal juices that you can buy at the store, I would definitely say these are a thousand times better. Um, someone did recommend to me trying infused water with her. She's not having that. She's just not. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, these might not be, you know, the best thing for everybody to use, but in my family, they work. Next, I'm gonna be. Next, I'm gonna be because I had never been a coffee drinker ever. Um, I really, really wanted to be. I love the aroma of coffee. Oh my gosh, it smells absolutely amazing. But I couldn't get myself to drink coffee, and I think it's because when I was little, the first time I ever tried coffee, it was just totally black and it was disgusting. I was trying so hard to drink it to be like all grown up, and I think it just scarred myself for life. Let's get real. Uh, but finally, my neighbor showed me this New England. Uh, blueberry I'm sorry New England coffee blueberry cobbler oh my gosh it is amazing and you can get it I got mine at Walmart two more right, two more of the random miscellaneouses and then we're done with my favorites um, the first one is this homemade jam wild blueberry from Max Apple um, this year we really tried to go apple picking but the weekend that we went I think it was a weekend before Halloween we tried going and the season was over there was no more apple picking but they still were selling you know the products that they make at the farms so we tried this um, blueberry jam from a local 
apple picking slash farm place um, near where I live and it's it's so good it is absolutely delicious and I've been having it almost every morning my last favorites which again should have been a favorite many 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 months ago I cannot actually show you the product because I am filming with the product but that is my camera I can't even believe that this had never been in my favorites so the, the camera that I have is the EOS Rebel T5i. It does have autofocus. My autofocus can be a little bit slow at times and I don't know if that's just the camera or like the lens or if I can fix that at all. I'd really like to look into it. But uh, this camera is absolutely amazing. I really, really love it. This is the box that it came into. I don't know if it still has my address on it or not. but. I don't know, I don't want to talk too much about it, um, but I just, I had to include it in my favorites. This favorite wouldn't have been completed without it. So that is everything, I think. <laughs> Lord knows as soon as I turn my camera off, there's going to be something else that comes up. But like I said, there was a lot I needed to show you this month, so I think I showed you a really good amount. If you try... If you try to let me know how you like them. I always love to know if you guys are using the same stuff. But if you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and leave a big thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any new videos, please go ahead and subscribe. I love you guys so, so much. I want to thank you guys for wanting. Thank you guys for I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.